Okay, I saw this question online about iTunes and the touch bar. So I have a virtual touch bar right here. And the question was, if I'm in iTunes, it seems kind of nice. I could go ahead and I could start my music. And I'm going to go ahead, yeah, keep making sure the volume's real low here so that I could talk over it and it's not too distracting. If I'm doing this in iTunes, it's kind of nice. I could start and stop it. I could jump to the next track. I can move forward and backwards. It all works really nice. There it is. Yeah, but what if I'm in another program? Say I'm in the Finder. Well, my touch bar changes. And the comment made was, well, yeah, then I have to run to my mouse to switch back to the program, and then I could use the touch bar. Well, if I'm on my mouse anyway, why do that? If I'm going to run to my mouse, why not just do it here? So the touch bar, yeah, kind of limited value. But that's not true. Assuming I'm not touching my mouse at all. No, I'm going to have to, because this is a virtual touch bar, so I'll have to go ahead and click on it. But let's go ahead. First thing I can do is just Command-Tab and get back to the program. And then start and stop it. Easy. But see, I don't want to do that. See, I have it there. See, I even have the window closed. iTunes allows you to do that, no problem. It's not like Windows or even Linux where you close the windows on most program when the program quits. It can keep playing. Now I click back to here. I could still actually jump back to it, but there's no window open. Um, but even command that command tab, I'd still be able to do this. But say I don't want to switch back to the program. I can go ahead and in this case click, but if this was a real touch bar, just touch this right here. I touch it, and now I have start and stop. I have next song. Easy, easy, easy to do. If I click on another program, it's going to change again. Let's go ahead and command shift quote, and I could go ahead. That's an add-on that I have a system service, and I could then, yeah, if I have something selected, right down here, I could pick colors, boom, pick a color that I want that text to be, or maybe I have this text selected, and I have to go quit out of here. So yeah, it's the same idea. Click that little X, and I could boldface it and underline it. Now, I can also do that. I could also do that without using the touch bar at all. If I have that selected, I can hit Command-B to boldface and Command-U um, to underline. So easy enough to do, and it shows you right here on the touch bar what things are happening. So it does also show you that right there, which is kind of nice. It also shows you up here in the, in the colors. So I have all of these things, but even here, I'm in another program. I can go ahead and touch this. Yeah, I'll click it here and start my music up again. Just takes an extra click. And then there's the X over here. So that's how the touch bar works. And you're fully capable of working with your music even when uh, the program is not there. I could also mute it, mute the whole computer and notice it's gonna show up right there if I have something coming in that I need to quickly stop it. But yeah, go just click here. I have my iTunes controls. Boom, stop the music. So that's right on the touch bar. No need to go back to the program.